Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my channel where we are learning occupational skills and knowledge. So today we will be learning like some hand tools and the first of all we have here set screws. So what is set screws right? Set screws may have point square head, hex head or sunken head, hex head that are used with the allen wrenches or allen keys. Sometimes uh, we call it allen wrenches or allen keys, right? So both words are uh, good. So what are the set screws? Set screws have many heads, right? Many type of the heads. They can be flat, they can be pointed, they can be cone type, they can be oval or whatever shape. They can be cup type. So they have they have the capab capacity or capability to go uh, when we tighten them uh, with the allen wrench for example if we want to hold the pulley onto the shaft what we use we use set screws right so to hold the pulley onto the shaft we have a pre-drilled and tapped hole through which we put set screw and tighten it up with the allen wrench or allen key right so this is what we use mostly in the uh, in, in our occupational um, uh, uh, practice, right? So suppose a millwright or um, technician or a gas technician or whosoever is wanting, want, wanted to put the pulley onto the shaft. What he has to see? He has to see the pulley. There is a hole. He has to check the threads. What is what, what type of the Allen key will fit in? What type of the Allen screw is given? right set screw is given and then according to that set screw he has to has the allen wrench right so i write it here allen wrench is a hexagonal hexagonal means six sided allen wrench is a hexagonal six sided tool it is used to turn a set screw and what is set screw set screw is a small screw which have any type of the heads depending on application right which is used to hold the object onto the round shaft right onto the round shaft similarly another thing what we use as a, use as a hand tool um, is a quarter pin is a fastener actually set screw and the quarter pin are the fastener but they are both are um, like a uh, we use it in, in, in a, as a tool right as a tool or as a fastener so we are learning in this chapter fastener. So one of the fasteners is set screw and other is quarter pin. Quarter pin are used to screw or secure circular shaft. We need to secure the circular shaft, so, right? So we put a quarter pin in front of it so that that pulley or that circular disc or that gear does not shift onto the uh, shaft, does not slide onto the shaft. It is, so it has to stop uh, because of the quarter pin is in its way so we have the set screws and the quarter pin and what is allen wrench is a hexagonal six-sided tool it is used to turn a set screw i can show you the application here you can see that this is my pulley and now i have to put a set screw so what type of the tool i have to use i have to use allen wrench right so i use this to tighten it up onto the shaft and this is the pulley and if I have a pulley, I have to see. What I have to see? That there is a set screw inside, right? And that set screw I have to tighten when I put this pulley onto the shaft. Or similarly, quarter pin. If I need to put a quarter pin, that will stop this sliding disc, whatever it is. It may be a gear, it may be a pulley, it may be a circular disc. Or So we are putting this quarter pin to avoid the slippage or movement of this circular object onto the shaft right so this is quarter pin so these type of the small um, fasteners and tools we are using in our everyday life everyday life when we say everyday life we use screwdrivers everybody know what a screwdriver is a screwdrivers are hand tools used for fastening screws to metal and wood so whatever is there Whatever type of the screws we need to fasten, we have to use the screwdriver. But there are so many types of the screwdriver. We, we know 
already uh, we are using the slotted one the flat flat screwdriver so wherever we have a flat head we have to look for the flat head screwdriver and then there may be a star or that is commonly called flips give me a flips screwdriver right that means it has a square uh, it has a star head right then there may be a hex head screwdriver there may be a torx head screwdriver there may be one of the thing uh, in question you will see robertson screwdriver has a square head that is robertson screwdriver has a square head so what is robertson screwdriver it has a square head right so there can there can be uh, flips there can be straight or blade right or slotted whatever name uh, you use you have to figure it out that what type of the screw head is so you choose the same driver to to tight or loose the that particular screw right so then there are wrenches right so pipe wrenches pipe wrenches have an adjustable jaws it has adjustable jaws capable of gripping circular surfaces of the round pipe anything which is circular right we we use we use pipe wrenches so pipe wrenches has got the uh, threads on its jaws so that when we and it is adjustable as well so when ever we need to grip a circular object or circular shaft we use pipe wrench we cannot use um, adjustable screwdriver because the adjustable screwdriver uh, it does not has capacity um, of gripping a round object right because uh, on the pipe wrench we have the threaded jaws and threaded jaws keep that uh, circular thing um, in the grip right so circular surface of the round pipe so we have that uh, pipe wrenches have an adjustable jaws that has a serrated surface or tooth surface right right tooth sur surface capable of gripping the circular surface of a round pipe right always remember remember here always push a pipe wrench away from you not towards you always push a pipe wrench away from you rather than pulling it towards you why because if it slipped it will not hit your face so always push a pipe wrench away from you never use a pipe wrench to tighten a nut or bolt right so it is a gripping device do, do not use pipe wrench to tight a nut or bolt never use a pipe extension to increase the leverage of a pipe wrench these are the few points which um, which occupational uh, people or the millwrights or technicians need to know uh, that this is safety right never use a pipe extension to increase the leverage of a pipe then we have we did already um, allen wrenches so we have the allen wrenches and we have the pipe wrenches so what we are dealing with we are dealing with hand tools fasteners and hand tools Set screw is a fastener, quarter pin is a fastener, Allen wrench is a hand tool, pipe wrench is a hand tool, Robertson screwdriver is a hand tool, which is used for a for for tightening or loosening a square head bolts or screws. Now, next thing what we are dealing with is uh, anchor, right? What is anchor? So anchors are made up of lead, plastic, or iron lead anchors are used for concrete this is always come in exam lead anchors are used for concrete lead anchors are used for concrete then we have plastic anchors are used for drywall plastic anchors are used for drywall so these small things comes in exam like a fill in the blanks but i make the points which you need to uh, go through a few times so that if anything is missing in the sentence or you have a multiple choice question you can select the correct answer then there is a leg bolt leg bolts are heavy screws that fasten the supports toggle bolts fix support to the surface such as drywall so we have um, beside these things we have nut drivers right nut drivers are also the screwdrivers that have a socket tip that fit over the head of a nut so that those kind of thing is called nut driver right so
So I can show you the picture so that you have concept of a nut driver as well. So these are the nut drivers. You can see at the tip we have a socket head that fits onto the different size of the nuts, right? So these are called nut drivers. Then we have uh, lag bolts, which I did here. Lag bolts are heavy screws, right? That fasten supports. So this way, we have to cover a few more things like we use as a, as a hand tool. Uh, and we know that there's an open end spanner, spanner or wrench, right? It's the same word. Sometimes we use open end spanner, like the word spanner can be replaced with wrenches, right? Open end wrenches are used when either the socket or the box wrench is not fitting into the space. So if it is not fitting, box wrench will not fit. Then because of the space restriction, what you do? You use open end spanner. And there are several types of the spanners or wrenches. These wrenches are like they may be ring at one end and open at other end. That is called combination wrench, right? Or combination spanner. Then there's an adjustable wrench, right? Adjustable wrench have an adjustable jaw that can fit to any odd size of the bolt head. If we don't have any um, like um, uh, head size which doesn't fit in millimeters like metric system or in um, inches system, right? Standard system, then we have to use or sometimes we have to face the situation where nuts heads are worn out. So nothing is um, uh, fixing into that odd size of the head. Uh, so we use uh, adjustable wrench, right? So odd size of the nut and bolt head, we use adjustable wrenches or adjustable spanner, right? We use socket wrenches. Socket wrenches comes with a handle and a set of sockets, right? So um, we have multiple um, sockets in a box, right? So we can use, in they come in millimeter and standard again. So we can use uh, either of the uh, size or we have the extension as well so we can also use these socket wrenches or socket wrench uh, with the extension right most handles are equipped with a ratcheting or ratcheting right ratchet ratchet action ratchet action means if you, and they can turn clockwise or anti-clockwise like opening condition or fastening condition and you can put this with a small knob on the top of the ratchet handle. So, and the ratchet handle can be fit in into the any uh, socket wrench set, right? So you put the, you see this uh, bolt number or nut number, oh, you see, okay, this is 12 millimeter. So you choose 12 millimeter socket, put it onto the socket wrench handle. And if you are tightening or loosening, you have to see, and then you turn it anti-clockwise or clockwise both way, right? Then there are box wrenches, right? Box wrenches. What are box wrenches? Box wrenches are used when the nut or bolt head is in a closed quarters or socket, right? So this is the intricate parts of the machine where no straight spanner can reach, no straight screwdriver can reach. So we have a box wrenches which are like S type or which are tilted type or which are Y type. So they are they are used particularly to reach to the um, to the to the difficult spaces of the machine, right? So these are uh, the few things which we need to go over. And I will also I have a complaint that this board is not that much visible. So um, uh, I already answered this question that each and everything which is written here is also written in the description. So if you go to the description. Uh, in in your cell phone or in your um, in your laptop you can see all the all the things are being typed the same same thing has been typed there so you can see you can you can have a look at the video and you can also read it uh, on the typed description so hope you like the video if you like it subscribe to my channel press the bell icon button to receive another informative and uh, knowledgeable uh, video so th that will help you in exams as well in any kind of um, technical exams or occupational skill exams so thank you for watching